name is Rachel. Super happy to be here. Uh, I'm going to start by telling you guys about myself. <laughs> I'll start with the elephant in the room. It's me. <laughs> I'm a big bitch. <laughs> we got big bitches in the house tonight. My people. <laughs> I love when big people make big noises. There's nothing better, right? Sometimes I ask, I'm like, where are the big people at? And people get all shy. They like raise their hand. <laughs> I'm like, we can see you. <laughs> You might be sweaty, but you're not slick, you know? <laughs> you look good, no one's mad. <laughs> it's cool. I've been doing a little social experiment where I ask that question everywhere I perform, and the results are interesting, right? Tonight, you guys got appropriately excited. <laughs> but when I take this show on the road to places like Spokane <laughs> or Enumclaw, <laughs> they lose their minds. I'm like, where are the big people at? They're like, yeah! <laughs> Gravy starts pouring out of their mouths. <laughs> I'm like, this place doesn't even serve food. <laughs> we all had gravy. That's cultural, I think. <laughs> but then I'll go somewhere more woke, right? Like Seattle. When I say that in Seattle, they get weird. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, Seattle? I'm fat. <laughs> And they look at me with these little puppy dog eyes and they're like, oh no. <laughs> She's become self-aware. <laughs> they get all upset, <laughs> right? They offer me smoothies and they ask me to run 5Ks. <laughs> I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> they walk up to me after and they go, no, 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 you're not fat, you're beautiful. And I was like, you're a bad listener. That's not what I said. <laughs> These are two different things, my guy. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. Some people are fat and athletic. Not me, though. Other people, <laughs> for sure. For me, it's exactly what it looks like. A lot of beer and chicken wings. <laughs> if you're picking up what I'm putting down, all right? Because <laughs> I'm not picking it up. Anything down here, <laughs> it's not for me anymore. <laughs> There are perks to being big, it's not all bad. Uh, I do have a big belly, but I also have a fat ass. That's cool. And I got big boobs. Everybody loves big boobs, right? Yeah. Except the people who have them. Our backs hurt, okay? We are sweaty in places you should not be sweaty. I just want you to know, men, every big titty bitch you love has a picture on her phone of a heat rash under her boob <laughs> that you're not ready to talk about, okay? <laughs> it's not all sunshine and motorboats. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do get jealous of people with small chests, right? Because picture this, this is a dream of mine. I'm standing up, I'm eating some food, I drop a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it falls on the floor. <laughs> if that's ever happened to you, fuck you, okay? <laughs> Check your privilege. <laughs> I've ruined the top half of every shirt I own. <laughs> Shit's expensive. <laughs> God forbid it's a, a night like tonight where I'm wearing like a jumper or a bodysuit. Something falls down the canyon. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's part of my outfit now. <laughs> it's coming out of bedtime. We'll do a sweep. <laughs> Save it as a little snack for later. <laughs> Either for me or my husband, depending on who earns it. <laughs> we do keep score. <laughs> He'll catch an attitude with me. I'll be like, oh, really? <laughs> Sounds like the pussy fries mine tonight. <laughs> been marinating all day. <laughs> I know that's gross. I know it's gross, <laughs> okay? But people laugh every time, so whose fault is this? You're complicit. 
I was trying to explain that bit to my friend <laughs> recently. I was like, I'm working on this new pussy for I think. <laughs> and he's like, your shit's that fishy? <laughs> And I was like, no, 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 it's a french fry in my pussy. <laughs> you, you had to be there. You don't get it. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I do like being big. Being big is cool. Uh, right, like my boobs are so big when I go outside in the rain, my belly button stays dry. <laughs> That's nature's umbrella. <laughs> it's pretty dope. <laughs> It's pretty dumb. I did recently get fat shamed in a new way though. I bought a necklace on Amazon. It was one of those chokers, real sexy. Sits right at your neck. Uh, and I thought it'd be like one size fits all. <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> you laughed too fast. <laughs> She's like, that bitch saw God. <laughs> and I did, okay? I was fighting for my life. <laughs> As soon as I got that necklace off, <laughs> it led me to Googling the most embarrassing thing I've ever Googled. <laughs> I had to take out my phone and I had to Google fat neck chokers. <laughs> and once I got past all the weird porn, <laughs> the serial killer documentaries, <laughs> Found what I was looking for. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I also, I work with children for a living. That's what I do for my day job. That's a hard transition. Let's do that. <laughs> I work with kids for a living and I truly believe it's the best job in the world, right? Besides this job. Because <laughs> I get to drink at this job. <laughs> Everyone gets real fussy when I drink at my other job. <laughs> I'm like, all right, guys, let's calm down. I waited till recess. It's not that serious. The kids are crying. <laughs> They're like, Miss FJ, why do you smell like my dad? I'm like, give me a break. It's hard to teach phonics when you're slurring your words, okay? It's hard out here. I love kids, but they have a fatal flaw. And if you've ever met one, you know exactly what it is. Is that there? Assholes. <laughs> They're so mean. They hold nothing back, right? One time a kid came up to me and said, Miss Afj, do you make $100 an hour? And I was flattered. <laughs> but before I could even respond, another little kid from the back of the room was like, no way. <laughs> If she made $100 an hour, she'd have way nicer clothes. <laughs> I'm up there like, what the hell, man? That was not very nice. But that was an excellent use of context clues. We have been working on that one. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> what did he, he was like, her outfit does suck. Uh, <laughs> that's not what he said. That's cool. That is cool. Fuck them kids, right? Can we just agree professionally? Fuck them kids. <laughs> Another time a kid came up to me, she's playing with my hair, and she stops and she goes, Miss Afj, I'd like to report that you've got split ends. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you see something, say something, right? <laughs> so they say at the airport, why would it be different here? <laughs> But while we're on the topic, maybe I've got split ends, but you've got split parents. <laughs> so maybe stay in your lane, you know? It's cool. <laughs> I am a big lady, I'm a big lady, which means in my life I've done a lot of things to try to make my body smaller. Like one time I tried keto, that's crazy. <laughs> right, anyone here on keto? No, yeah, because we're out, we're upright, we're having fun. <laughs> Nobody's sick. <laughs> One time I asked that, and a woman in the front row, she goes, I'm on dirty keto. I was like, what the fuck is dirty keto? <laughs> she said, it's keto, but you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, I'm on dirty keto too. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm a fitness queen. <laughs> Just barren chicken wings like the Lord intended. 
I've done other crazy shit. Like I got an Apple Watch. I thought that would help. <laughs> I'm not gonna take more steps, but I'll count the ones I'm taking already. <laughs> then they'll really count. <laughs> It didn't work for my weight loss goals, but it wasn't useless, because I could still use the heart rate monitor to watch myself get anxiety. <laughs> That's cool. And that shit's just as good as a workout. <laughs> Your watch cannot tell the difference. <laughs> right? My watch would be like, you're in the fat burning zone. And I'd be like, I'm in the checkout at Walmart. <laughs> this is not the same. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, and then it would turn around, it would be like the most supportive device I've ever owned, right? Every now and then it would just buzz and it would be like, good job, you stood up. <laughs> like, you're goddamn right, I did. My watch is like, you wanna take a widow nap? <laughs> My widow tired. <laughs> I am, I am. Uh, <laughs> the most recent thing I did though to try to lose weight, I bought myself a spiralizer. If you don't know what that is, it's a kitchen gadget that tricks my fat ass into thinking zucchini is pasta. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? <laughs> but as soon as I opened the box, I learned you can also use that sucker to make curly fries. <laughs> so <laughs> I was doomed. My name is Rachel Afjay. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you.